Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day five, the last day of our time here at Walt Disney World. It's been a great trip. Um, I'm super tired, which means that I've done a lot. I'm going to head over to Animal Kingdom this morning. The time is currently 9.20. Animal Kingdom opened at 8. My original idea was to rope drop Animal Kingdom, but last night, after getting back late from Epcot, I was like, I can't do it. I need to sleep in just a little bit and take time for myself this morning. I'm all packed up and ready to go here, so I will meet you all over at Animal Kingdom, and we'll get our day started there. Good, thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Thanks, you too. So right around 10 o'clock, made it into Animal Kingdom already. A very packed park. A lot of folks were headed toward Pandora. Again, like with uh, the last couple of days, this is a park where they've made major additions since the last time I was here. So excited to explore Pandora. But not right now because I think that's where everyone's probably gonna be headed. So I'm gonna head toward uh, Asia. And one of my favorite rides across all of the Walt Disney World parks Probably the favorite ride, and that is Expedition Everest. There's some monkeys over there being very noisy this morning. Admittedly, Animal Kingdom is the park here that I know the least about, so I really just meander about until I figure out where I'm at. I never really know where I'm headed, so just walking around. But I think I do know where Everest is, just ahead here. Oh, and while we're walking, here goes a uh, cavalcade. Donald and Daisy, and I think Goofy on there too. Expedition Everest is about 20 minutes, but it moves very quickly. It doesn't seem like 20 minutes. Just got off of it. I'm gonna go again because I love it. Now I'm going for the third time because it's only about a 10 minute wait, even though it's 20 minutes posted. The line continuously moves. So they do a really good job of managing the crowd on Expedition Everest.
here's a pro tip uh, come back behind the tree of life you can actually get um, really good shots of it so if you want to get pictures in front of it come back here to this back side because there's not nearly as many people as there were on the front side uh, so you might have better chances and a better angle to get those shots So I've treated myself to a Glacier slushy and a Mickey cookie here at Harambe Market. This looks very, very good. All right, so just had a bit of a snack at Harambe Market. Gonna wait till later to have a more substantial lunch. After the lunch crowd dies down a bit, y'all gonna walk around the African portion of the park, then head over to Pandora and check out the line for Flotta Passage. I uh, was just checking the app and it said something like 70 minutes, so I'm hoping that that's not the case by the time I get over there, but we'll see. I think I'm going to skip out on Kilimanjaro Safari this trip. The line's also pretty long for that, uh, and it's not really a must-do or a necessity for my trip. So right here at Zuri's Sweet Shop, right across from the Harambe Market, which is over there, and next to Zawani Traders, this is where I got that cookie and glacier slushy so come in here they have a whole assortment of different baked goods and items that you can get but highly recommend the cookie that i ate it was very good but if you want something sweet you can see the uh the baked goods right there through the door come in here and get you something and the line for kilimanjaro safari continues to extend way down here by tusker house all the way Near the entrance to Festival of the Lion King. You can see the end of the line coming up right down here. So, oh, and it actually extends down to Festival of the Lion King around the corner. No, thank you. I think even cooler for me than Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios. This is incredible. Theming. Flight of Passage, which was amazing, worth the probably hour wait that I had to endure to get there. Uh, my action camera just died, so it's uh, hard to get a lot of grab and go footage. So apologies for the audio and shaky video footage that you're getting now. Um, everything's really breaking down here at the end of the trip, but thankfully it waited till the end to die. So 
this is a red crown crane and it's frozen coke topped with frozen cherry coke topped with strawberry cotton candy did i need it no but it looked delicious and so i'm gonna have it because treat yourself vacation I think this must be the area of the park where they do the nightly show but it is a nice little place to come have a little downtime you see expedition everest over there in view and nepal just across the way so a nice quiet place not that many people over here and just for wayfinding it's actually right across from dino land usa which you can see right over there um so yeah come up here and take a seat if you can't if it's lunchtime and you can't find seating anywhere else they do have these tables where you can stand at and have lunch there are some shaded areas like where i'm sitting here so just a tip of somewhere you might consider coming to hang out for a bit and taking a break from the park so just taking a little afternoon break here at animal kingdom of course it is my fifth day in a row out on the park so i'm pretty beat today um i've already done a couple of rides that i wanted to do everest and then Flight of Passage. Later I'm going to go back and do the uh, Navi River. Probably near the end of the day I'll do that. I think the wait was about 30 minutes, but just walking around enjoying the day. I really like Animal Kingdom Park, but I just don't feel like it's a full day that should be spent here. I think if you have Park Hopper, maybe this is one you could come to in the morning and then go to one of the other parks in the afternoon. As far as like my top Disney parks, it's definitely not, you know, up there on that list. You know, I'd probably put uh, Epcot number one, then Magic Kingdom, and then Hollywood Studios and uh, Animal Kingdom is three and four, you know, maybe alternating. I'm not really sure which one. But maybe next time if I was only coming for a few days, I'd maybe consider skipping Animal Kingdom now that I've been here and done everything at least once. Um, this is actually only my second time to the park. So I also wanted to take this time to get my thoughts on Coronado Springs Resort. Um, now, I was there for four nights, and unfortunately, because I've been at the parks all day long each day that I've been staying there, um, I didn't actually get to explore the resort too much. I did take the opportunity to go to Panchitos, which is the convenience store there and the gift shop that they have on resort, but I didn't go to the, any of the restaurants or anything. I didn't go to the pool area, and I stayed in Casitas, and other than that in the tower, I didn't go to any of the other parts of the resort. I just thought it was okay, though, for what you pay. I don't feel like it was anything special. It wasn't really overtly themed like a lot of the other Disney resorts. So at times it was really hard to remember that you were at a Disney resort. So I don't think I would do Coronado Springs again. In fact, I think next time I come, I probably won't stay on Disney property at all. When you consider how much more you pay to stay at Disney, I could take that savings and stay somewhere off park, but close by and take ride share, you know, a Lyft or Uber to the parks each day using the money that I save. The Disney bus transportation service, they do a really good job, but it's still very slow and an ineffective method of travel, especially for park hopping. I don't see how, I've never done park hopping, but I don't see how anyone could come do park hopping and, you know, make the most of their time because it takes so long to utilize the transportation system that's operated by Disney. So I do think next time I come, I will stay off property, save a little bit of money, because you're not in your room that long anyways at least i'm not when i come and then utilize ride share to get back and forth from the park still uh several hours left here in animal kingdom so probably going to head over i can hear it running now just right over here is expedition everest i think i'll just go ride it a couple more times in a row like i did this morning and then get on navi river here in a little bit i also want to try out the barbecue restaurant and the name escapes me for some reason right now but it's been like i've had that bookmark for quite a while to have lunch there it's really crowded now because it's just around two o'clock in the afternoon so we're going to give that some time to die off then i'll put in a mobile order and go over and sit down and have lunch and just enjoy the rest of my disney vacation because the hours are few remaining in this vacation Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So here is lunch just picked up from Flame Tree Barbecue. I got the St. Louis style ribs with fries and coleslaw. Also got a large Coke Zero, no straw, but they did include these wooden sticks for some reason. And then this right here, this is a, a limited time special that they're having. This is a flamingo cupcake and it's all strawberry. It's supposed to be strawberry cake. So I'm excited to dig in and try this. I was looking forward to this dining experience as I was planning my trip. So let's dig in. So I have like a cross section of the cupcake. You can see there is some like strawberry compote in there. And it's very tasty. This is a strawberry buttercream, strawberry compote, strawberry cake. So um, this is a very, very good cupcake and it's falling apart very quickly. Well, y'all, that's going to do it for our day here at Animal Kingdom and for our week here at Walt Disney World. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks for watching my first Disney vlog series. I hope you all enjoyed it. I did get to meet some of you very briefly in the park today, so hello to you all. Thank you all so much for saying hello when you see me out and about. It always makes my day. I encourage you to please subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of adventures just around the corner, including in July, the next cruise vlog series is going to be available here on my channel, so you don't want to miss that. Thank you all so much again for watching, and until next time, everybody, I'll see you on the next adventure.